Welcome to Linux Saints YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about the storage classes in the C programming language. So what is a storage class? Well, a storage class defines the scope or visibility and lifetime of variable and even functions within a C program. They precede the type that they modify. In C programming language, we have four different storage classes. Now these classes are as auto, register, static and extern. So first off, we have the auto storage class. The auto storage class is the default storage class for all local variables. For example, if you had two strings, integer month and auto integer month, they would mean the same exact thing. That is, we are defining two variables in the same storage class. Now whenever you create a variable, the auto storage class is automatically preceded with the declaration of that variable. Now next up we have the register storage class. Now the register storage class is used to define local variables that should be stored in a register instead of RAM. Now this means that the variable has a maximum size equal to that of the register size and cannot have the unary operator which is the AND operator applied to it because it does not have any memory location. An example would be register integer age. The register should only be used for variables that require quick access such as counter variables inside a for loop or inside any other loop. Now the third class we have is the static storage class. The static storage class instructs a compiler to keep a local variable in existence during the lifetime of a process instead of creating and destroying a variable each time it comes into and goes out of the scope. Therefore making local variables static allows them to maintain their values between function calls. The static modifier may also be applied to global variables and when this is done it causes that variable scope to be restricted to the file in which it is declared. And lastly we have the extern storage class. The extern storage class is used to give a reference of a global variable that is visible to all the program files. When you use the extern, the variable cannot be initialized. However, it points to the variable name at the storage location that has been previously defined. To sum this whole up, extern is used to declare a global variable or function in another file. Now extern storage class is a little bit more complicated than the others. The extend modifier is most commonly used when there are two or more files sharing the same global variables or functions. So suppose that you have two files and in the first main file you write in a variable integer age and then you use the extern storage class and within that main function you give some value to the age for example 18 and then you use the function write underscore extern. Now in the second file you can simply include that variable age from the main file by using the keywords extern integer age and if you print out the value from the second file you will get the value of age as 18 which was declared in the main file. Anyways that was storage classes in the C programming language.